How we doing? All right. Doing well. Doing well. Kyle, you want to go first? Let me give it to Kyle. Everybody got the recorder up here? Coach, if you want to just give some opening remarks, then we'll go to questions. Um, very thankful for the win. Um, blessed to, to be the coach of these guys. Man, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, uh, coach Malagy did a great job with the scout. I thought at halftime, our staff did a great job with adjustments. Um, credit Abilene Christian for coming out and having a really good game plan. And they made six threes in the first 12 minutes, and we held them to one three the last 28 minutes. And that was the adjustments that the staff made. And so I uh, credit my staff. And I just absolutely love those guys. Was the plan coming in today to only play seven guys most of the way? Well, well I, I, I was, I'm trying to figure out how to get Dorian in the game. I'm trying to get to eight. Um, I, I have to do a better job of trusting him because um, he's doing a pretty good job at practice. And so, um, you know, plans, I, I, I'm just trying to figure out how to win games, right? Like one at a time and what gives us the best chance at that moment. And when they jumped out to the big lead like that, uh, it was hard to put him in that situation, right? Because then if he's not successful, you're killing his confidence. And confidence is a, I mean, that's like the most important thing. So, um, but I thought the, the guys who were out there did a great job once we adjusted to what they wanted to do. And uh, I mean, obviously it's a big game for David. I'm wondering how much his offensive game in your mind has changed at Kansas State compared to what you saw in film from him at Virginia Tech. Well, you know, at, at Virginia Tech, he played behind two um, conference, all-conference guys, right? And so it wasn't that he was a bad player. He was just stuck behind two all-conference guys. And so in the limited minutes that he played, which, you know, about, I think it was about 13 to 17 a game, somewhere in that area, we saw him do some really good things and thought, man, given more minutes, he could do more of those things. And uh, he's, a, he's a real mismatch at the playing the five, right? Uh, because he's so fast, he can outrun fives down the court. He can sprint out of ball screens, and um, you know, and he's starting to feel his, you know, they're they're developing confidence in each other. Because I mean, he went nine for nine, but you got to credit our guards for throwing him the ball, right? He probably could have been eleven for fourteen because he he turned down some rolls that he was open. He caught it and didn't go up and try and score it. Right, but our guards kept throwing him the ball, so that that was that was that was a credit there too. But I I see David's game continuing to grow. I I, I feel like he can shoot the three, right? I be I believe that he can make plays from the the high posts and on a short roll as teams make adjustments, and it's going to just give us more options and uh, you know just put the defense in the bind more moving forward. Coach, I got to ask you about free throws. Uh, t 16 of 29 tonight, just. I guess, what goes into being a good free throw shooting team? Man, confidence, repetition. Um, you know, uh, we had the guys uh, shoot 100 threes um, yesterday, and they sent the numbers, and nobody was less than 74%. And most people were in the high 80s. Right, with their 103, so it's not a lack of them putting in time. You know, it's some nights, you know, it, it, it's like that. Um, I, I am glad, I, say, I, I am glad that we can win games and look at this and say, man, we can get better here, we can get better there, we can get better there, because it means that we have a high ceiling. But I don't then, like uh, missing free throws, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> um, in the second half, you mentioned only one three after Abilene Christian went on that, that hot start. I guess just what kind of went into that as a whole, the game plan wise? Oh, we just, they were driving us baseline uh, to force a rotation. Uh, they weren't trying to score, uh, just to put two on the ball and then skip out on the backside of throw behind. And we just said, we're going to guard it one on one and we're not going to help. And if they go finish at the rim, uh, that's okay because we that's not what they wanted to do and that allowed us to be a little quicker on our rotations and be there on the catch and take away some of their actions. 
not many people are going to be able to keep Keontae to, to one point and a half. How, what were they doing to kind of keep him tamped down in that first half? Um, you know, I mean, when you come off a big game, they gear up on someone. Um, they didn't tag off of him on the ball screen actions, which allowed David to be open and, and credit our guards for looking at the read and saying, it's kind of like in football, the safety's cheating over on that side, so we're going to throw it to this receiver, and that's what we did. We threw it to the right receiver, and, um, you know, it, it happens like that. And I, I have to credit Keontae because he kept being in the right spot and he kept doing what he needed to do, and, and then he tried to play defense on the other end. And uh, so, you know, I mean, it's going to be like that some nights. You've previously spoken about the importance of David having confidence on the offensive end, but as far as just scoring and getting opportunities to score, how important is his activity in terms of cutting and running the floor for those opportunities to get buckets at the rim like we saw tonight? Yeah, I, you know, I think that um, as we go along, teams make adjustments, right? So, I mean, we've been running some of the same stuff. We run different packages against different types of defenses. And their defense was geared to stop Keontae. So where, where he was at, nobody was leaving there, right? Whereas in other games, they were tagging the roller. And so if they tag David on the roll, then somebody else is going to be open, right? And it's up to our guards to make the right read. So his activity, I mean, he's, he's been running the floor well. I mean, the last few games, you know, I, I think he's been rebounding well. He's probably like at you know, three and a half rebound, I'm sorry, one rebound every three and a half minutes, maybe almost three, and that's elite. That's like got to be top 50 in the country, right, And when you get one rebound every three minutes. So he's been doing the things. Today, The def that's what the defense offered, and we were able to take advantage of it. Coach, when you've got a 52 to 30 advantage in points in the paint, how much of that comes down to just Marquise seeing cutters and finding guys open looks? Well, is that's the whole team, like, I mean, we had a, a big advantage in the paint in the first half, too, right? And we were one for six from three, and we just said, hey, just, the, I mean, on the board, I wrote paint, paint, paint before the game even started, right? Because that, that's where our advantage was, and I was very proud of the guys for continuing to go back to the well. Because sometimes when you get a lead, then you try to do other things, and today we didn't try to do other things. Coach, the uh, alley-oop off the backboard for Marquise where you had three different guys going after it, just how you wrote it up? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad our fans like that. Uh, I'm glad our players like that. You know, um, I, I'm, I'm learning not to pay attention to everything. <laughs> and you mentioned uh, just how the adjustments you made in the first half. Do you think your team came out with the right energy, or was it just a matter of Abilene hitting open shots early on? No, the, we didn't come out with the right energy. And, uh, but as they've shown, they have the ability to turn it up. Uh, the, the thing is, we can't do that in the Big 12. And so we have to get to where, you know, we can sustain the energy we need to win for longer periods of time. Yeah, Ish and Bebe are day to day. Mission baby day to day. They just we're working. They're doing a great job rehabbing and trying to do everything they can, uh, you know, to get back. And when Luke tells me they can go, then they'll they'll be available. All right. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful night.